Hey guys, what's up? It is Brandy Chanel, and if you're new to my channel, here on this channel we talk about everything from hair to fashion to you to pretty much all things beauty and lifestyle. So if you haven't already, don't forget to press, 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 press that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can join the notification gang, gang. All right, let's get on with the subject matter at hand. All right guys, it has been a hot minute since I have recorded a video. Um, I feel like I'm feeling creative today. I need to do something creative-ish. I'm here to talk to you about my top four shampoos that are in my current rotation. Um, couple black owned beauty brands and hashtag black owned beauty brands. And so let's just get started. Obviously today I'm not wearing my natural hair. <laughs> whatever it's up under here go in order of like the one that I use probably the most to um, the one that I use the least but it's still in rotation if that makes sense so first one is I don't use this one every week and I'm not sure if this is a black on beauty brand I have to do a little research but I got this off Amazon and I noticed that my hair just wasn't feeling quite right so if you're someone that uses a lot of products which i typically don't but if you're someone that uses a lot of product like gels um anything that can kind of not clog up your pores but any kind of product that gets on your hair that may not get washed off by a non-sulfate shampoo definitely get you a clarifying shampoo so this is the nothing but clarifying shampoo um by the company i can't even read that soften free grow healthy they need to change the way that looks it's called soft and free grow healthy no petroleum mineral oil sulfates parabens colorants pethylates girl i don't know how to pronounce that but i really really like this shampoo i use this every other week just to make sure that i've gotten all the product build up dead skin blah -zy blah off my scalp and off the hair strands definitely check this out i purchased on amazon i will leave the price on the screen and i'll also have a mini blog post on all these so be on the lookout for that if you haven't checked out my blog or my instagram girl what are you waiting on those are in the description box as well and yeah get on it all right next up is probably my favorite shampoo <laughs> i might need to reorder yikes um this is the fortify naturals sage infused black soap shampoo this is black owned this is liquid gold you can only purchase one of these at a time which makes me sad every time i purchase it so i don't have to buy it as frequently or i wish they would less let you get at least two but anyway this stuff it as you can see i'm at the bottom i love this nozzle so much that i took the nozzle off one of my other used ones um once i finished using the bottom put it on the next shampoo that i'm going to show you but i really like this one this one does not lather um as much it does lather but not as much leaves my hair feeling soft it says it cleanses clarifies or restores black soap olive oil and peppermint it's for all hair types low to high porosity strand penetrating formula it's vegan for anybody who cares about vegan products you this is for you sis my vegan sis does it's for you but um i love it it doesn't smell too earthy um yeah this is probably my favorite shampoo of all time at this moment in 2020 definitely my favorite shampoo next up we're gonna move on to talia wajid also another black owned beauty brand um i took the cap off of like i said the four to five naturals and put it on this one because i like this nozzle better when i'm doing a shampoo so i can get into that scalp girl um this is a black earth shampoo it's a two-in-one hair and body it cleanses conditions restores moisture to hair hydrates softens with black seed extract and my favorite thing it's paraben free i will leave all the prices and everything on the screen for each product and in the description box and on the blog baby girl so let me see i can't remember this one doesn't smell earthy at all either i really like the smell of this and i haven't really so much used it as a body wash but i really like it as a shampoo and it keeps my hair soft and yes it is black but neither one of these stay in the shower so you're in good company and again this top does not come on here it comes with the regular shampoo like this click top so don't when you buy it don't be expecting this nozzle because it's not going to be on there anyways and lastest but not least and brothers if you're watching um the elastic qp cream conditioning shampoo i have been rocking with this shampoo ever since i went natural and i think while i was transitioning 
I love the way this shampoo smells. It's dirt cheap, like $3, something like that, in most places you can get it. It's vitamin rich, olive oil. I always add a little bit of extra oil to it just so it's not um, drying because it does have a sulfate in it. I just add like maybe a tablespoon of olive oil to it and shake it up. Um, it's like a creamy, well, you can see all these. these. That one's clear. It's like a creamy yellow. It just reminds me of banana for some reason. It's like a creamy banana consistency. I don't know if you can see that. It smells really good. It's not too overpowering. Oh, try not to waste, girl. But I really, uh, I got this from a beauty supply store for $3.99. Oh my God. I really like this one. It's moisturizing, but you can't use too much because it has sulfates in it. So it can tend to be drying. So I would say use it sparingly, but these three, you can just, you know, use as much as your little heart desires. Well, maybe not this one, but these two don't dry my hair out at all. Um, and I will leave again the price. Uh, let's see, this one is for, this is for dry damaged hair, adds maximum moisture, leaves hair manageable. And usually I tell people like, okay, yeah, you can read the instructions, but mostly flip, I mean, not the instructions, I tell people that you can read the advertisement on the front of what it says it's gonna do, but flip it over and read those ingredients, sis, so you know what's actually in it. Um, anything that has like a moisturizing, something more natural like a, um, a shea butter, or let's see what's in this one. It has like a lot of good ingredients in it. Um, I look for shampoos that have, like this has aloe vera, shea butter, um, cocoa butter, obviously has black soap. Um, coconut, olive, um, plantain. It has all the, all the goodies goods. And this one, let's see, has, um, rosemary, black seed oil, olive oil, silk amino acids, vitamin E. Vitamin E is a good one. Woman owned. <laughs> um, and yeah, so you want to look for something kind of like that for a moisturizing shampoo. I hope you guys enjoyed. Literally, these are my top four. These are in my current rotation. And I have one other shampoo that I'm really not going to feature because I don't use it that often. And once I use it, I don't know if I'll repurchase. So I'm just going to, I definitely will be repurchasing these four for the remainder of 2020. I will leave an iCard above of a hair routine video and some other hair videos for you guys to check out over here on the screen. Let me slide over a second. Put it right here for you. All right, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. I hope your hearts are feeling well. I hope your body is feeling well. And I just hope your mind is feeling well. All right, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.